Hey everyone and welcome back to the Fish Market Academy where we teach you how to fish for gains. So in today's video, we'll be doing a simple valuation analysis on what we think the market cap as well as the price of Kinetic will be at launch and whether it's going to be worthwhile doing it. Let's take a look. And if you found this video useful, do remember to like and subscribe to support the channel. Alright, let's get started. So let's look at kinetic valuations. So this one, we won't go into too much details, but mainly the two approaches will be to use the MCAP versus TVL of other CDP projects, as well as the FDV versus TVL of other CDP projects. So uh, we have done the, the math between the various popular CDPs like MakerDAO, Abacadabra, Liquity, Alchemix, CDAO, MStable, and Mars. And the average is about 14.61% in terms of the MCAP versus TVL. And then if we take a look at the FDV versus TVL of the CDP, uh, we also get an average of about 37%. So if we use that, and then we assume that about 0.1% of Lunar TVL flow into KNTC, we can estimate that's about 32.5 million. So with an initial circulating supply of 32 million KNTC, we get an estimated KNTC price of 12 to 15 cents using this method. But using Luna's TVL to enter into KNTC might be a bit arbitrary. So we also use just maybe, for example, 1% of Anchor's TVL to flow into KNTC, which we feel might be more reasonable. Or although if you feel like this is too bullish, then you might just reduce this by half, maybe 0.5% of ANTC, sorry, of ANC TVL goes into Kinetic, and you can just prorate these amounts accordingly. But let's just say it's 1% of Anchor TVL that enters. You get around 0.45 to 0.56 cents using this method of valuation. So this is what you'll be looking at. And if in terms of the should you lock your UST, so assuming you lock 100,000 UST and then KMTC is worth between 12 cents on the very conservative case and then 56 cents on the bullish case, you get between 1.5k to 7.3k. And this is actually in a wide range. And if you put it to anchor, you actually get 4.5k, which is quite sort of in between there. But if you actually use 12 months because of the boost, you actually get quite a lot more KNTC rewards. So if you lock for 100k and then you lock 12 months, you actually get the upside of potentially around 57k or 57% in a year, which is really, really good. Assuming, of course, you sell all of this at, at the market and at the price of 56 cents and you, you lock it in into UST. And if you have put the 100k into Anchor, you only get about 19.4k. So if you have 100k USD that you know you're not going to touch for one whole year, which is a really, really long time in crypto, but you're really confident you're not going to touch it, then you can consider using that full 100k to put into the KMTC lock drop for one year. And of course, that also gives you 20% allocation of your lock drop amount to borrow KUST. So you can borrow up to 20k KUST if you put in 100k USD. So let's explore some of the valuation premiums. So Kinetic could have a higher ratio multiplier as the first CDP on Terra with many features coming in the future. So this means that the price range that I mentioned, it could be on the higher side or it could even be above the price range. So going to $1 is actually not, not completely out of the question actually. And it will also start to grow in volume, TVL and market cap as soon as people start to realize the utility of this protocol for borrowing KUST by locking in their assets while Kinetic does the rest of the work. Kinetic money is 100% bootstrapped by the team with no private sale or VC funding, so there is no like VCs that are going to be dumping on you. Uh, the partners include Delphi Labs, Polychain Capital, GT Capital, and Edimus. Just to reiterate, there is no private sale or VC funding, and basically, this partnership probably just involves putting in UST to support the lock drop as well as buying KNTC during the entropy phase to support the protocol launch. Now let's explore the flip side, the valuation discount. So Fraser might not be able to grow if users consistently withdraw their UST. And Kinetic will not be able to accept more collateral on their platform after the cap is hit, affecting the overall TVL growth. So this is something that they need to balance carefully on when they need to increase the cap. And they cannot just increase the cap too much as well as if they increase the cap too fast and then some, something will happen. They may not have enough USD in their phaser to repay. And that could actually cause KNTC, sorry, KUST to depack, which would be kind of like the end of the project. So that's something they need to monitor closely on how fast and how much they increase the cap by. And users might also of course be afraid that KUST could depack from the one-to-one -one ratio of UST, which might cause Kinetic to fall apart. So this, this second scenario is very possible, but I think it is not very probable as long as they maintain the cap very well. So if they don't anyhow increase the cap by too much, 
Uh, I don't think they will run into a KUST depegging problem anytime soon. But it is a possibility if they grow too fast, too big. And a black swan type of event would happen and then people want to withdraw their UST and then suddenly they find that KUST becomes under-collateralized potentially. So ultimately, do your own research and invest with caution. So if you found this video useful, do remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye! Baby fish to do 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 baby fish to do 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 baby fish to do